everyone. Hope y'all are doing amazingly well here on this soggy Monday afternoon. We're here for a very special meet and greet Monday interview. And y'all, I just have to tell you, I am so very excited about this one. Y'all are getting a family package. A family! We have two beautiful little ladies. One who rides under the Equine Experience Program and the other who rides through our traditional therapeutic riding program. And that one there, you know, she and I go way back. We're partners. And I have to tell you, I have watched this little lady grow through the years. She couldn't even hold herself up when we started. And I see her sitting tall and pretty up on my back now. And the pranks and giggles she does to these folks around here? Ha! <laughs> you can't help but love her. They're awesome. Anyhow, so without further ado, let me introduce y'all to Miss Hannah, her beautiful little sister, Michaela, and their amazing mama, Miss Vicky. Hi, y'all. How are we doing right now? Good, how are you? <laughs> awesome. Love those smiles, as always. Miss Vicky, you're a parent to these two amazing girls. Can you share a little maybe about the impact you've seen on them from riding here, respectively? Well, Hannah started here about six years ago. And um, when we first started, I honestly thought, what is a horse going to do for her? Because, you know, I just didn't have any idea. And so it was funny because... She started riding and she could barely even sit up on the back of the horse. She was uh, basically laying down and maybe was 20 minutes and that was, that was it. She was, she was done. And then just over the course of a couple months, went from laying down to sitting up and she just loves it so much. And it's just brought such joy, but it's really helped with her stamina and her strength. And just, this, just the connection that she has. Uh, <laughs> 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 so, Michaela, um, a lot of people don't know, she started riding because um, a couple years ago, um, she was almost abducted at a park when we were looking for painted rocks. And she um, has still suffers from some PTSD and social anxiety. And... Uh, you know, she had a th she went through therapy and, and stuff, and they actually suggested horseback riding because it would help with her confidence and everything, and it really has helped her with some confidence. And she still has times where, like, someone knocks at the door, the doorbell rings, she gets upset, and she gets scared. But we work on it, we talk about it, and um, I'm just glad that she's doing so much better. I mean, because it really has been a difference since she started riding. To how she was. I mean, because she would dive under the furniture, hide behind the furniture. I mean, it's, she still has nightmares and it's, you know, what, she's working on it. It's something that she'll probably always have with her, but at least she's doing better. And I think the horse, being on a horse has actually helped her, you know, knowing that she's in charge of this huge animal and that, you know, she's controlling where they go and what they do. I think that's really helpful in her being able to, you know, have more confidence. What do you think? Definitely. And as a parent of a child with special needs, can you share maybe a little about the challenges you all experience or overcome regularly? Um, I think when you have a child with special needs, um, you know, you when you have your child, um, I mean, not that I have any thoughts of what she should do with her life or things like that, but, you know, there's expectations that they're going to do these things and milestones in their life and of course she's not able to do those things being you know independent go off on her own you know friends sleep so sleepovers things like that and i think that that's the hardest part of being a special needs parent is that you hurt for the things that your child isn't able to do but instead of feeling that and doing that i think we tend to look at what can she do and what can we help her do and letting her do horseback riding and all the shows and everything that she's gotten to do with horseback riding, 
that's what we focus on. You know, she does Girl Scouts, she does Special Olympics bowling. You know, we, we try to focus on the positives of what, what can she do? What can we help her do? What will make her have a life that, that lets her be the best Hannah that she can be and not look at her limitations or her, her special needs in a way that makes her limited. some unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Miss Vicky, do you enjoy coming out here to MTRA as a parent? Oh, I do. I think I have probably a million pictures of my kids and videos of them. <laughs> I do a lot of them because, you know, their daddy doesn't get to be with them and we have family up north and they love to see all the different things that she can do and all the events that we get to go to and all the shows she gets to participate in and so it makes them feel like they're included and she um both of them they just love you know the just it's different here um with the volunteers and the people that work here it's like family you know yeah. it's so much it's so much different and hannah you've been riding quite a bit longer than your sister how many years has it been now like six, this will be your sixth year. Hey, Michaela, how about you? How long have you been riding now? Second year. Second year. Awesome. You come pretty far, little one. And Miss Anna, how about you? Who's your favorite horse around here? two events and she really liked it and then what remember what what else did you get to go do this year with her i've done all the shows that we travel with all the kids <laughs> and special olympics <laughs> Hannah, <you're interested>. yeah, <laughs> because it doesn't say mtra it's it said metro. Metro. it's a metro metro uh, metro <laughs> i put it all together <laughs> I should have put it out. M T R A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
No. I've done all the shows that we're trying to play. Like, oh, <laughs> hits in Special Olympics. <laughs> It got hits in Special Olympics, right? But Metra. <laughs> now we're always gonna call it Metra. <laughs> <laughs> Metra. That is so funny. You know, some of our MS folks also call MTRA Metra too, so y'all might be on to something. So Hannah's done Special Olympics and you both have done Hits Family Day Showcase together and our end of year shows. Probably a couple others. Very awesome. Uh oh. She's answering questions. Can help you get stronger. Oh. <laughs> you supposed to let her ask you the question first. L O L, y'all. I'm just gonna step away here. Ha! Hannah doesn't need me because she's so ready for this interview. <laughs> so give us that again, Hannah. What message would you share about horses or life? Horses can help you get stronger and give you a lot of love. Absolutely we do. And how about you, Michaela? What's your message? The same thing, definitely. So you feel like you've gotten a little stronger? And do you feel like we make you happy, us horses? How about confident? I know you volunteers have remarked over the last year about how confident you appear now with Mocha, so that's pretty cool. Alright, and then we have a few funny questions for you. Bow, bow, bow. What would you name yourself if you were a horse? Uh oh. <laughs> what would you name yourself if you were a horse? I know what you'd name herself. Use your other hand, honey. What would you name yourself? Snowflake. <laughs> Horsey Michaela be named. I have a good suggestion. Snowflake. <laughs> you think you should be snowflake too? <laughs> yeah, snowflake. We have all snowflakes. Snowflake, snowflake for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you should be, if if you were gonna um if you're gonna have horses named, you could be um some more because you could you could be a little bit of chocolate a little bit of a little bit a little bit of marshmallow <laughs> mm, i'm getting hungry now sheesh all right so who are your heroes who's your hero i know who yours is Go back. who's your hero Gotta sit up. We can't see you behind the screen. You gotta put your little pretty face up. <laughs> Who's your hero? Dad. 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 Oh, I'm yours. Oh, that's nice. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Mom. Oh, you have Daddy. two. Oh. You can definitely have two heroes. Oh, that's sweet. Your tutu. Is it Bob? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's dead. <laughs> Just kidding, Tim. <laughs> I, I always just use the name Bob. Like whenever someone says, you go through the drive through or whatever, they say, what's your name? And I'm like, I get tired of telling them because they don't ever get it right, so and I say Bob now. And, say and they still Bobby. mess it up. They put Bobby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, and she was dying. And they we and we put um Michaela for for one and they said yes. Oh. <laughs>
Oh. So they just don't listen. She's like, I don't think those people listen. I said, I, we'll just tell them whatever random names. So we'd say Bob. There you go. Uh, what was Hannah? Dad, Mom. <laughs> Who was Hannah? What did they put for Hannah? Hannah. And Hannah. And Lisa got part of it right Faster, yeah. please. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> Faster, please. Maybe not. Oh, well. <laughs> Anywhere in the world, where would it be? She'll tell you that first, right after that. I want to go to Paris one day. She wants to go to Paris one day. Paris, wow. In the cave? Where would you go? And she wants to go to? Mexico. Mexico and Paris, two very different and yet very unique places. Very cool. <laughs> Anything else you want to share? No. No. Okay. No. okay. What about you? Is there anything else you want to share? Anything else you want to share? Thank you. I'm just very thankful and appreciative of all the work that you guys do here. It's we know it's hard work. We know it takes a lot of volunteers and everything, so we're just very thankful for all the hard work that everybody puts in, the people that work here and the volunteers. Thanks! That sure means a lot. I think the overall cool thing is how much we all take away from therapeutic riding. From the riders, to the families, to the volunteers and instructors, and certainly us horses. You can tell, you can tell that you love it, and that's what makes it so special, is that you can tell that everybody genuinely wants to be here, and everybody genuinely loves being here, giving their time and their energy to this place, and that's what makes it really special. Say thank you. <laughs> For sure. I couldn't agree more. Well, Miss Vicki and Miss Hannah and Miss Michaela, thank you all so much for joining us today. Looking forward to starting back our classes here in September. And y'all stay tuned for another Monday meet and greet next week. Back with none other than yours truly.